to show you how to make these um, simple fabric gift tags. I just love them and I think they're so pretty and they look great attached to gifts and you can also write on the back to and from if you want to. So what you need to create these, uh, I used muslin, so two pieces of muslin. My tags are approximately four and a quarter by two and three quarters, but really, I mean, you can make your tags any size you want. And then I also cut a piece of cardstock to fit uh, the muslin so because I wanted them to be a little stiffer, not just fabric. I like them to have that um, cardboard in there to stabilize them a little bit. And then I did sew mine. And if you're going to uh, use the same technique I did to sew them, you will also need a piece of saran wrap about the same size as your tag. But if you're not going to sew them and you're just going to glue them, don't even worry about that. You won't need that. You can just glue this together and it's fine and pretty and works just the same. If you are going to use the saran wrap method with me, then you're also going to need an iron. And then you'll need some little snippets of lace, maybe a couple of embellishments, some cute ribbon or lace for your tie. And I just thought it was cute to add a little bulb pin with a pearl or a charm, but you absolutely don't even have to do that. And of course, I used one of the beautiful Lavinia stamps, and I also used some of my sprays, but you could use watercolor paint, or you could, you know, you can color this however you'd like. So I will show you how easy these are to make. Let's get started. So we're gonna lay down our first piece of muslin, and then we're gonna put our card stock, and then if you're, going to sew it with me, we're going to put down a piece of saran wrap and then we're going to put the last piece of muslin on top and then we're going to iron that down and that saran wrap just creates a really light hold to hold that muslin in place while I'm sewing it because if you don't do that sometimes it can start to crinkle or bunch up in the sewing machine and I like to have a nice flat tag. So I'm just going to iron that down. Now you can just skip this step altogether and just glue down your muslin with your cardstock sandwiched in between. No problem. But I do recommend doing this if you're going to sew it. It's just incredibly helpful for that. And even though we're not um, putting a layer of saran wrap in between the cardstock and the bottom, piece of muslin. If you're going to take it right to your sewing machine and sew, sew it up right away, you don't even need to worry about that. So I'm just trying to make sure that the saran wrap gets melted down. And I'm using my craft iron so that it's okay if I get a little saran wrap on it because I get all kinds of stuff on this iron. So just keep that in mind. And now it is flat and held together and ready to go to the sewing machine. So I created a zigzag stitch around it, and now I'm using the beautiful Lily stamp, which I'll have a link to below, and I don't want the stamp to go all the way to the bottom, so I'm just using a piece of masking tape to cover the tag where I don't want the stamp to go. Now I'm using archival ink, which I'll have a link to below also, because I want a permanent ink because I'm going to watercolor in the stamp. So I want to make sure that I'm using a permanent ink to stamp with. So I'm gonna just stamp that right down. It's such a pretty, pretty stamp. And now I'll just remove the tape and now the stamp is right where I want it. Now I'm going to um, paint mine in with some sprays and I will link the sprays available at Lavinia World below. And you could color these in really with, with anything you wanted. Um, or you don't have to color them in at all. I mean, I've stamped on these tags and just left them just with the stamped image. I mean, these stamps are just gorgeous and would be um, just great just for that alone. But I decided to go ahead and color these in. And now I am ready to embellish, which is one of my favorite parts. So I'm breaking out the lace 
And I'm going to add a little bit of lace to the top and a, bit of, a little bit of lace to the bottom. And I am going to use just hot glue to adhere it on. Hot glue is great for adding lace to fabric, it, you know, as long as it's something you're not going to wash. It works fantastic. I would, however, recommend using a rubber spatula or some fingertips as hot glue does seep through lace pretty easily. But um, I've been doing it for so long, dare I say, I can barely feel it anymore. But I, I don't want you to hurt yourself. So please use a spatula and I'll try to remember to use that in, in my videos going forward. So I am gonna add just a couple more embellishments to this and I hope that you give it a try. These tags are so pretty, I love them. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can see all the wonderful, talented people leaving such great tutorials on this channel. It's just been amazing. And you can also find the link to my personal channel below. So um, I'm gonna add this cute little bow because I like to add bows to almost everything. It's a thing. And I am going to use my crocodile to punch a hole um, in this tag. It punches right through all the layers with absolutely no problem at all. I love my crocodile. And now I'm just going to lace some um, ribbon lace right through that hole. I just think it's such a pretty touch. And then I'm going to pop a bulb, bulb pin on there with a little bit, a little pearl. And I have tacked some um, photos here on the end to give you a better look. So I hope you enjoyed it, everyone, and I will see you on the next one.